Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome back to the second of my three tag videos I'm doing this week. This week I am doing the Reading Goals tag. This is an original tag created by Rosie Kokshuch who has just an incredible channel and uh, you know uh, Rosie's incredibly smart, incredibly uh, well spoken and her videos always just kind of have a, a kind of a cheery cheerful edge to them at least uh, most of the ones I've seen and, and you know everything about uh, her channel is great, and I thought this was a great tag, and she was nice enough to tag me uh, in the original, so I wanted to do it uh, today. Uh, so, prompt number one, or question number one is, uh, or actually she has to ask us to tag some people first, so I'm going to tag three people. I want to tag Lucas uh, from Bit of Lit. Uh, hopefully, you know, doing a tag will keep you warm in your apartment, which doesn't have any heat. I want to tag Sam from Paper Not Books, who I just saw um, her... Uh, top 10 uh, books of 2021, and just some great books on her list. And then Cynthia from uh, Book Whimsy, uh, just a great booktuber and an academic and uh, always just great to ha hear her channel. We read very differently, but I always like to watch her videos and I like to see her tag answers. And she seems like an organized, goal-oriented per person, which I have to tell you, when uh, Rosie tagged me to do this uh, video, I thought to myself, I'm the least goal-oriented person uh, that I know. Um, that, so my answer to these questions may be brief, I may end up rambling, I may end up blending one prompt together, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so the first prompt is, do you set goals, why or why not? Um, and then, so I would say that I, I do set goals. Um, I have a big overall goal for my reading since, uh, got, since I really started BookTube, which I'll expand on again uh, later, but I usually set goals uh, that are just kind of general, like uh, a lot of my goals are monthly goals. I, I like a lot of the uh, read-alongs and the themed months because that really has been a, a way to get me to expand uh, my reading, to, you know, mindfully set aside a month and say, okay, I, I know I'm going to read um, African American writers during Black History Month. <clears throat> I may read and frequently do read. African American writers all year long, but I'm going to devote that month to reading African American writers <clears throat> because that's something that I want to do uh, more of. Uh, last year I did my own kind of uh, indigenous reading month. I'm hoping to remember to do it. I think it's in October of this year, so I do it in the right month. Uh, but that again is something that, that I want to do. Uh, I may read indigenous authors uh, throughout the year, but I want to devote that month to focusing on uh, indigenous authors, but I think it's important to kind of give that recognition that there are, are authors and books uh, by people of color uh, that are not, haven't been focused on and have been ignored and lots of people miss. And I think it's important to kind of acknowledge that we need to pay attention. I will be reading for Pride Month uh, as well. I do nonfiction November. I do uh, Victober every year. Uh, there's Faulkner in August. I do. Anyway, so there are, there, themed months are kind of a thing for me. This year, one of my new thing months is I'm going to do March Mystery Madness. Instead of, I think, reading Mark, doing a March of the Mammoth, even though I'm thinking about reading The Count of Monte Cristo in March 2, I want to do a March Mystery Madness because I really love uh, mysteries. Uh, so I want to do that uh, in March. But that's really the kind of goal I think that I have a tendency uh, to set. And, and they're general. You know, I'll say, okay, I'll think of five or six books I want to read in that month. If I get to all of them, great. If I don't get to one or two, then I, you know, I don't worry about it too much. Uh, which then I think is kind of the next question is, um, are your goals things that you, you absolutely aim to complete or more general themes you want to focus on? Obviously, based on what I just said there, uh, there are more general themes uh, that I want to focus on. Uh, and I don't kind of beat myself up for, for not completing them. Uh, question three is, when in the year do you set your goals? I think like most people... Uh, in the Western world, on the what is we are on the Julian calendar here, is that right? Or the Gregor anyway, on the calendar that we're on, I can't remember the name of it right now. We have a tendency to set set our goals in January at the beginning, and, and I fall uh, right into that. Uh, the next prompt, prompt four, do you have long-standing goals that you aim uh, for every year? If yes, what are they? My my long-standing goal since I started my BookTube channel is to read more broadly, and I've said this before. I was uh, a, a real reading snob, and I really thought that kind of 20th century American uh, classic novels were the best novels, and those were the best writers, and I'd focus so much of my reading on that, and then on Nobel Prize winning writers, and if you do that, if you are, you know, uh, 
an American man like me, a young man, and you start reading that way, what you find is that you're, folk, you're reading a lot of books by white men or you're reading a lot of books by men and not very many books by women or people of color uh, or members of the LGBTQ community because in the time period I was looking at, those people uh, were oppressed, those people couldn't get their books published, uh, those people couldn't live the lives, uh, couldn't live the life of who they actually were. So what I want to do, and what BookTube has kind of shown me, is that there's so much more stuff out there, not just reading different genres, but so much more stuff out there in terms of uh, books in translation and reading more and intent, kind of intentionally and mindfully, reading more broadly, uh, authors from different backgrounds, not to tick a, a check mark on a box. I don't have, you know, uh, a list or a map of countries or, oh, I've never read anything by, you know, this particular group of people, uh, but to just kind of let that happen more uh, organically, let those titles come to me. And since I've really been trying to be more open to that, that has helped and my reading has become uh, more broad. And I really think that that has made a real difference in changing the way I look at books and reading. Uh, and really one of the blessings of BookTube has been, has been that exact thing. Uh, what type of goal has been most successful by whatever metric you measure? So the kind of goal I set is the one that's usually most successful. So getting back to this kind of not being all that goal oriented. Um, my goals are, are these kind of vague things. I want to read this book, these books during this time. But it's not I want to read this many books. Or I want to read books by you know an author from each of these places. Or you know author of, if, you know falling in each of these categories. The LGBTQ uh, plus um um, range. Uh, it's not that I have anything against that. I think that is a that's a great way to to make sure you're reading more broadly. But it's just kind of not uh, not how I operate because I have a feeling if I made a list that it would feel more like I was doing work than I uh, enjoyed myself. And maybe I need to think about it that way. Maybe that would be an important kind of step forward for me. Uh, what type of goal has not gone to plan? Uh, what went wrong? Have I had a reading goal that has not uh, gone to plan? Well, every year I, ma I make a list of books I want to read, and I don't. Probably the reading goals I have that don't go to plan most often are nonfiction November. I have a lot, a lot of nonfiction books on my shelves that I still haven't read uh, that I'm leaning to get to. And, and so I guess in that sense, that's what, what went wrong. And usually the reason it goes wrong is I overestimate how much I'm going to be able to read, uh, or something just comes up and prevents that kind of goal from working out. Sorry about the change in lighting, my camera died. I'm not exactly sure where I was. It took me about half an hour to charge it. So I'm going to pick up with, do you change your goals based on how your last year's reading has gone? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, mainly to fill those kind of deficiencies, I think, in the fact that I haven't read a lot of books from certain areas. Uh, so I want to read more books by Caribbean authors and by uh, authors from uh, Asia, Africa, Hoshina. Uh, that would be a goal I have for this year and uh, not because I've read every book by you know people from other places but because I want to read more books from those places particularly in terms of Asian authors I have a real uh, deficit there and again I'm not looking to you know tick uh, boxes on a list but just to feel like that I have you know experienced uh, the works of Asian authors and the lives that they describe and those kind of things that that's what I want to do uh, the next question is uh, prompt uh, seven, I think. Uh, do you track your reading goals? If so, how? I really don't, uh, other than making you know a TBR or other than making wrap up videos. I don't. I do have in the past followed the Reading Women Challenge, uh, which is a list of like 24 uh, books they want you to read. Of course, they're all uh, by women. I found that to be really uh, really helpful. I'm sorry that I'm doing anymore. That's the one way I, I check or track, and I'll probably put out a video about that. Uh, relatively soon. But other than that, I, I really don't. I just go off of a general feeling, uh, move from one thing to another. Uh, the next uh, prompt is, has any of this changed a lot over the course of your reading life? Yes, uh, as I explained, I do try to read far more diversely than I did in the beginning and to get past that kind of really book snobbery that I was guilty of for a really long period of time. Um, and this kind of broader reading is, it is really so that I can have those experiences, so that I'm not limiting myself. I don't know that it makes me a better person. I don't know that it makes me a better citizen of the world. Uh, I know that it gives me satisfaction. It makes me feel like I am learning. And that is one of the things 
that I really value, that idea of constantly uh, learning throughout my life. Anyway, there you go. There is the reading goals tag. Thanks again to uh, Rosie uh, for uh, tagging me, and I'll leave a link to her video down below, as well as the people I tag. You know, if you want to do this tag that's interests you, please do it. I uh, look forward to your comments in the comment section below, and as always, thank you for watching.